Hey guys, what's going on? Um, coming back with another pod review. Now this uh, is a Jamaican red mushroom pepper. Uh, you might have remembered that I did a review on this last year. Um, I'm doing it again because I misidentified the pepper. Uh, so I had to pull the video down and uh, you know, People make mistakes, I admit when I screwed up, uh, so I'm gonna do this again. Um, I actually grew this out myself this year. Um, a lot of people, uh, myself included, last year, I do confuse this with a scotch bonnet, because uh, some scotch bonnet types can get similar shapes to this. It is not, uh, and it is not a capsicum chinense. It is a capsicum annuum. Um, these are quite hot for a capsicum annuum, um, they all get these uh, this cool like flying saucer kind of shape and you hold it up this way you see where it gets the Jamaican red mushroom nomenclature now I'm gonna just pop off this calyx right here uh, and this should have been the tail last year um, other than bubblegum types really uh, uh, Chinensi does not get large calyx like this Come on. Hop off. Let's go. There we go. It's pretty firmly attached. This is a uh, freshly picked, so. I cut it open, show you guys what it looks like. It's got that annuum smell. Show you what we got here. A decent sized uh, placental area. Uh, the walls are very, very thin, and there are lots of seeds in here. Uh, so, just so I don't get that bitterness from the seeds, uh, I'm going to take some of these out. Um, I may or may not grow this next year. I'm not sure. Alrighty, I'm back. And, uh, Still a few seeds left in here, but that's about as good as it's going to get. Um, and I got these pods uh, that I grew these seeds out of uh, from uh, Rub Better last year. Uh, so thanks to him for sharing this variety with me so I could grow it. Very cool. Here we go. Yeah, it's very sweet and very crunchy.
Now, the uh, heat starts in the throat, kind of hangs, hangs around there. It's a uh, solid, even, like glow in the throat, not really an intense burn. <clears throat> and then hits the lips, kind of stinging the lips, and uh, sits on the tip of the tongue. A little bit, uh, the back of the teeth, like upper gums behind the teeth. It's definitely um, on the hotter side for Cat's Companion. These, um, I believe, can hit up to uh, around 100,000 Scobles. Um, this one, I don't believe, is quite that hot. But yeah, we're looking at a similar range to a uh, bird's eye or Thai pepper. Um, Flavor is very sweet. Um, it does have a pronounced fruitiness as well, with a little bit of that uh, capsicum annuum earthiness. Uh, very satisfyingly crunchy. Um, what I do like about these uh, is that you're going to get a lot of pods per plant. Um, they're very thin walled, so that makes them excellent for drying and grinding into powders. Um, I have done that with these, uh, making a uh, jerk spice uh, mix. But yeah, the heat has uh, already peaked and it's leveling off. Um, it's very quick, doesn't hang around too long. And uh, I Throat heat is pretty much all gone. It's really just in the front of my mouth right now. Um, and that's fading too. One drawback to these though, um, you are going to want to get a jump start on your season um, because it takes a very long time for pods to ripen um, and that seems to be a, um, a, a trade it shares with uh, many other capsicum annuum species um, where you know if, if you want a fully mature pod you're going to be waiting you know, at bare minimum 45 days um, sometimes up to 50, 55 days, um, as is the case with, like, for example, um, like a red bell pepper it takes forever to turn. Um, so, you know, with that in mind, you want to take advantage of the high yield that you've got for this, get it in the ground as early as you can, and start seeds early if you were in a cold climate like I am. Um, with a short season. Uh, that being said, a very cool pod. I want to thank uh, Rob once again uh, for sharing pods with me last year so I could grow this out. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one.